What if I were to tell you with just a little bit of effort right now, you could bulk create hundreds of faceless YouTube shorts just like this one? That's right, we're talking about pumping out easy to make content that not only takes minimal effort, but also can bring in serious cash. Now let's talk numbers. The Quiz Blitz channel, for example, they get 9 million views every single month by posting these very simple quiz videos. And when I go ahead and use 2Magic's Niche Explorer, we find out that the RPM for viral quiz videos is $4. Do the math, that's $36,000 a month they're generating from making videos just like this that you could easily recreate using the same method that I'm about to show you. And it's not just quiz blitz. Take Daily Quiz for example. They're getting 8 million views a month which translates to $32,000 every single month that automatically goes into their pockets. However, by watching this video, you're gonna be a lot smarter and you're gonna get to the profitable stage of your channel much quicker. Why? Because these channels focus only on long form content and they're missing the massive potential of viral YouTube shorts. If you're serious about generating easy money from bulk creating quiz videos, then here is your golden opportunity. By posting YouTube shorts that redirect your viewers to your long form content, you can hit those massive numbers much more easier and much more quicker. This video is about generating the shorts for your viral quiz videos, but there's another helpful video on this channel about generating the long form content that I'll put up on the screen at the end of this video. But for now, let's talk about how you can redirect your short form viewers into to your long form viewers and potentially rake in over $30,000 a month like Daily Quiz, like Quiz Blitz. Let's begin. Starting off on 2Magic, an AI software dedicated to helping you grow on YouTube and get viral videos, I'm gonna go to the video ideas tool right here. Now in this box over here, we're gonna put in the handle of the channel we're modeling. So in this example, it's going to be Quiz Blitz underscore because that's their channel handle. And I'm gonna hit on generate. Now every time I hit on generate, 2Magic makes me unlimited, unique, viral worthy video ideas like the ultimate animal emoji challenge. What emoji represents this famous song? What famous landmark am I? Spot the fake news headline. What would you do? Ultimate ethical dilemmas quiz. These are all viral worthy ideas based off a channel that's already winning within the viral quizzes niche and I can easily make them using AI. We can also use 2Magic's keyword research tool to see what's trending in searches. So I'm gonna simply type in quiz and hit on search. Now as we can see the keyword for quiz is getting 2.7 million searches per month with a competition score of high. But I can actually filter by the magic score and then do a magic score of the highest. So virtual pub quiz is getting 3.9K views a month with a magic score of nine and low competition. Historical figure quiz is getting 3,000 searches a month, medium competition with a magic score of seven. Word search is getting 15.6K searches a month with medium competition, but I also can go in and search something else. Let's try movie quiz. Guess 100 movies in three seconds has 3.2K searches a month with low competition. And when I go down here, guess the movie by scene has 25.4 thousand searches a month with medium competition. We're gonna come back to using 2Magic in a bit for an even more useful tool, but you guys can try out 2Magic right now for an entire week for only $1. The subscription price for 2Magic is going up very soon, but whoever has it right now has the opportunity of getting a grandfather discount that will never change for the lifetime of their subscription. So you guys can try out 2Magic for an entire week for only $1 by pressing on the link in the description below. Next, we're gonna use ChatGPT for a format of viral quizzes that I've noticed particularly recently have been doing super well. So I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna write, I am making a YouTube shorts quiz. Can you give me a list of the top 15 most recognizable US presidents? Like that. This is what we're gonna do for an example. I'm gonna press on this arrow right here. There we go, now ChatGPT has given us 15 recognizable US presidents for our quiz and you only need like three or four of these, so just pick whichever ones you like. Now going over to Discord, I'm using the Mid Journey bot for image generation. You can easily get it by going into the Mid Journey server and getting the bot through there. It's about $10 a month for the basic subscription. And on the Mid Journey bot, I'm gonna go ahead and type in my president. So I'm gonna say an iOS emoji based off President Abraham Lincoln. iOS emoji style, 
white transparent background. I'm going to hit on enter. And within a couple of seconds, mid journey has generated me my images right here. So we have four different images of Abraham Lincoln as an iOS Apple emoji. And we're just going to pick the one that's the most visually appealing to look at and looks the closest to an iOS emoji, which I think is either this one or this one up here. So I'm just going to pick on upscale four for upscale image number four right here. And I just go through and do this with three or four presidents from my list, but this works with literally anyone. Let me do a wrapper an iOS emoji based off Kanye West iOS emoji style white transparent background enter and there we go it's made me an emoji for Kanye West this one kind of looks like an Apple emoji but these other two don't but in the case that you need to regenerate it all you simply do is press on this button right here and mid journey will have another crack at it and try it again sometimes it just takes two or three tries to get that right image for your video but now I'm just going to go through and generate all my emojis for my shorts I'm going to type in slash imagine an iOS emoji based off President Ronald Reagan. iOS emoji style, white transparent background. Midjourney has now made all of my emojis, so I'm gonna go through and start upscaling the one that looks the closest, like right there, upscale one, right down here, and I'm gonna upscale four, and then right down here, I'm going to upscale, let's do, for. And for these images, it's super simple. You just right click and save. Now I'm going to show you guys how we're going to make those emojis into a video in just a moment, but I have to mention something real quick. Recently, a lot of people have been emailing me. They've been commenting, asking if they can pay me for me to review their channels and help them grow. But instead of you guys paying me to help you grow your channels, I want to offer you guys a chance to do it for completely free to help you 10 X the growth on your YouTube channel for completely free. We will be hosting a live training that you can attend by pressing on the link in the description below. It's completely free. The only catch is there's a limited amount of people who can join, but you can secure your spot before they run out by pressing on the link in the description below and attending our free live training to help you 10X your growth on YouTube. And for those of you who will attend, I'll see you guys there. Next, I'm gonna use Canva to make my YouTube short. Now going up to videos right here, you're gonna wanna find Instagram Reel or TikTok video. Either one doesn't matter, you're just gonna press on create blank. Next, we're gonna go over to elements right here and we're gonna type in swirl background and then go over to videos and to look for a good background, something like this one right here. And I'm just going to rotate that about 90 degrees and then bring it up so it fits this canvas right here. Next, I'm just gonna put a circle up on the top left. So I'm gonna type in circle and just press on that, raise that up over here and I'm gonna change it to maybe a blue, a light blue like that. And we're gonna make it a little bit smaller like that and we'll add some stroke to it as well. So just a little bit of stroke and I'm gonna change that to white to make it stand out more, there we go. Next, I'm going to go over to text right here and press add a heading. Now, I really like to use the Chewy font because it's like that Mr. Beast type cartoony font and I think it works super well. So I'm just going to do the Chewy font right there and I'm going to type in one for question one. Then I'm going to bring it over up here, enlarge it a bit more so that it stands out a bit more like that and then make it like yellow or white. Maybe just white would be good. Next, I'm going to copy this text right here and paste it. And I'm simply gonna change it to guess the president. And I'm going to make that fit a bit more like that. And I'm gonna put in emoji as well. Guess the president emoji. And I'm gonna change the line spacing so that these are a little bit more compact right here. And I'm also gonna select this part right here and change the color of this text specifically to something like blue so it stands out from this background like this. And then I'm going to press on effects right here, press on outline, make it black. So I have a little outline to make it stand out a bit more and I can change the thickness of that to what I like. So I'm gonna make it like that right there. Now going over to uploads right here, I'm gonna go ahead and upload the files I made in mid journey. I'm gonna go ahead with my very first one right here, pressing on that. Then I press on edit image and then select on background remover right here. It automatically removed the background from my image and that's all I needed. I'm actually gonna make this a little bit smaller to give us some more space down here. So I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna raise it up just like that. Raise him up here. Then I'm gonna go back to elements right here and I'm just gonna type in square like this. 
and select this right here and then bring it down over here and change the color of this to something that stands out, probably like a red. And then I'm going to fit it so that's more like a rectangle at the bottom right here. Now remember, YouTube Shorts have to be under a minute long, so I'm gonna change this right here to about like 10 seconds or so, maybe a little less, maybe like nine seconds. And then we're gonna take this red square right here that we took, the red rectangle, we're gonna press on animate. And we're gonna press wipe right here on enter, but we're gonna lower the speed all the way right here. So that's a lot slower until the end of the clip. This red line will act as a timer for each short. Now we're gonna copy our text right here, paste it back over here, and change it to Abraham Lincoln. Just like that, and I can change the color of that to something else. Let's just do this blue from earlier, just like that. And I'm gonna enlarge it just a little bit so that's more visible and put over here. Then I'm going to right click on this and press on show timing, and I'm going to make sure that Abraham Lincoln only pops up at the end of the video. And I can just go ahead and play it to see how long it's gonna show up for. That's perfect, that works perfectly. In fact, I'm actually shortening this clip a little bit so that the Abraham Lincoln actually pops up when the red line pops up. So it's gonna look like this. Perfect. And I can even press on this, press on animate and have it pop up or do some type of animation. So I can simply go on like pop and press on enter just like that. So it looks something like this. Perfect. Then I'm gonna go over to elements right here and I'm gonna type in clock ticking and then go over here to audio and I'm gonna press on that. I really like this audio so I'm gonna put that in my video and I'm gonna have it end right as Abraham Lincoln pops up on the screen right there. And then as Abraham Lincoln pops up, I can put in a ding. This one's a very simple ding, so I'm gonna put that right there and move that right to when it pops up. So I'm gonna move that over here. Now once I finish this, all I have to do is go down to apps right here and type in bulk create. And I'm gonna press on this app right here. Then I'm gonna enter data manually just like that. And I'm gonna change this from name to number and then change this from email to name. So this is the first one, so that's number one. And I'm gonna type in Abraham Lincoln. For two, it's going to be Barack Obama. For three, it's gonna be Ronald Reagan. And then for four, it's gonna be Theodore Roosevelt, just like that. Once I finish that, I'm gonna press on done right here. So now all I have to do is connect my data. I'm gonna press on this number right here and press on number. And then for Abraham Lincoln, I'm gonna press on name. Once I've done that, I can press on continue and go ahead and generate all four designs. Now Canva has went ahead and bulk created all my designs. All I have to do is switch out these images right here for the correct ones. So the second one is Barack Obama. So I'm gonna delete this and replace him with Barack Obama and quickly just remove the background like we did earlier. Now all I have to do is copy these two audios right here and then paste them throughout my video so that there's a timer and a ding every time the name comes up. Now once I've done that, I'm gonna go back to my elements and type in happy music and go back to my audio and select a song for my background music. I can go ahead and just use that song right there and then put that at the beginning of my video like that. But now just to finish my short, I'm gonna add a page right here and then copy this background right here, this swirly background. Go over here, paste it right here, copy the text as well, go back, and then type in see if you can get all questions right in the full video. I'm gonna increase the spacing on that a bit so it stands out a bit more like that capitalize all right here, maybe change the coloring of that to blue. Then I'm just putting in this thumbnail as a placeholder, but what you essentially wanna do is put in the thumbnail for your long form video so that you can redirect these viewers to watch your long form content. And I'm just gonna add some corner rounding to this thumbnail to make it look nicer. And just in general, I'm gonna shorten this part down to maybe four or three seconds like this. Now we have finished our short and I'm gonna go up to share and press on download right here. Download it as a simple MP4 
and then press on this button. But now I have to show you guys how you upload this correctly so it has the highest chance of going viral and so that it redirects your short form viewers to your long form content. Now right now I'm on my personal channel but pretend this is your viral quiz channel. Right here I'm gonna press on select files and upload my short but remember it has to be under 60 seconds long or else it won't be qualified as a YouTube short. Now while our YouTube short is uploading we're gonna go back to 2Magic to use their very important tool that's gonna make this a lot better. On 2Magic I'm gonna scroll down to the warp upload tool right here. Now we can put in the URL of our video if it's unlisted or public, but that doesn't really make sense because it just scans what's being said in the video. Instead, we're gonna go over to the content right here and write in the context. A YouTube short quiz about guessing the president by their emoji. And I'm gonna hit on generate. And now in just seconds, 2Magic generates me a title description and tags completely based off viral optimization with videos with millions and millions of views. So right here we have viral worthy titles that I can use, a description, and then amazing tags that I can just simply copy and paste. So I'm gonna go in and just copy this right here, paste this into my title, but remove this part right here. I'm also gonna copy the description right here, paste that in, copy the tags, and then paste my tags right here. Now the reason why this is so important is because with most shorts, people don't even optimize them because of how long it takes and they upload several a day. But with 2Magic, you're now able to just tap into viral optimization in seconds and put them on all of your shorts and put yourself ahead of the competition and you guys can try 2Magic for only $1 for an entire week by pressing on the link in the description below. But we still have one last thing to do and we're going to go over to video elements right here and press on add related video and make sure to add a long form video to redirect your viewers to your long form content and get a bunch of long form views through short form YouTube content. Now to find out how you can make the long form content and potentially make over $30,000 a month like all those channels I mentioned at the beginning of the video, then check out this video right here where I show you guys how to make long form viral quiz videos using Canva using a similar method that I showed you but with long form content and it's super helpful.